Oh, Jack. Press back. Ano ba ang stand nila sa issue? Attorney Bruce, Attorney Jess, Ball Jack. Press back. Ba ng Pilipinas sa loans and grants mula sa uh, uh, labing walong bansa na sumusuporta noon sa Iceland Resolution, tinanggal na. Hooray! Okay. Ayon kay, Ayon kay Deve Secretary Teddy Boy Loxin, or Teddy Boy Loxin, ibig sabihin lamang umano nito ay nakapag-move on na. <laughs> Uy, move on, move on, pag may time. Pero tsaka, parang pag-ibig. Knowing President Duterte, hindi naman siya nagtatanim ng ano, ng sama, ng ano, ng parang hatred or okay. something like that. Okay. Mga kausap po natin on the line. Bongga. Ang, ang, Presidential spokesperson at saka talagang... Uh, Chief Presidential Legal oh, Counsel. Oh, Edges Dim Junera. Ma, a, a class, Sui Generis. Sui or Edges Dim. Hindi ko alam. Either of the two. Secretary Salvador Panelo, Presidential uh, Spokesperson. Magandang umaga po, sir. Magandang umaga sa inyong dalawa. Good yeah. morning. Sir, ano po ang, uh, ano po ang uh, parang rationale behind the, yung pagtanggal ng ban nung sa mga bansa na, ano, na pumirma doon sa resolution? Ano ba sabi sa inyo ni Secretary Luxin? Ah, uh, may mo may pagmo-move on. Nag-move oh, on sa natin. Hindi naman papa interview sa amin yun, sir, kasi hindi naman kami social. Oo. <laughs> ano po ba ang ano, sir? Ano po ba ang Twitter post niya is moving on daw, moving on. Ganito 'yon, no. Mm -hmm. The only reason why that uh, suspension was made was to make the position of this government very clear. Now we are against that resolution. Okay, yes. Not only are we against it, we consider it as an assault on our on our independence, independence yes. as well as sovereign nation. Mm -hmm. O eh, nung kumbaga, naipakita mo na eh. Several mm -hmm. months ago na yun. O, di pwede mo nang ilif. Ayun. So, para, Kaya tama si Secretary Teddy Boy doon. So, let's move, move on. Move on. Ayun. Para, <laughs> so, tama nga naman din pala. Secretary, oh. so of course, nasabi nyo, it's to send a message. So I think nasend na po yung message nyo. Pero ang isa yeah. ko... Isa ko ding tanong, Secretary, meron na din bang pangangailangan ngayon for loans and grants? Especially, I think, yung issue noon po, no, nung nag-ban si uh, Pangulo, eh yung uh, parang naalanganin yung uh, loan or grant minsan sa Australia or yung sa mga ibang bansa for security purposes. So, may need na po ba to restart those things? So, ngayon, wala, wala ko narinig na may need. Alam mo, yung mga loans na mga grant, okay lang yun, basta walang... kulatilya. <laughs> ang nire-react ni Presidente, kung magpaperam ka, kung mag-grant ka, pagkatapos ng mm. kondisyon. Huwag na lang. Ngayon na lang yun. Huwag na lang. Oo. Oo. Kasi nga, kasi hindi naman tayo prostitute na kailangan natin ng kondisyon pagbigay ng pera. Diba? Although Australia, wala naman po masyadong kondisyong binibigay. Although nadama yata dahil nga may ban, so naantala yata yung DND dun sa mga ibang loans and grants. Pero, uh, uh, oo. Oh, oh. Sir, Of course, ano sir, of course, ang, 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 ang iba naman dito, iniisip nila na, ano, parang, uh, uh, baka iniisip nila na we are watering down on, on our principles, on, on, ano, on our mm. independence and sovereignty. Kasi mm. syempre, yung iba sabi na, nako, galit-galit kayo, tapos biglang, i, ano, itatanggalin nyo naman pala. Uh, what, what can you say about those people, sir, who, uh, who seem to not, who do not understand international relations? <laughs> Simple lang yun. When you make a position, it is based on circumstances. Yes. Arising. Precisely, that give birth to that position. Okay. When circumstances change, you change your position. Wow. Yes. Ang bongga ng sagot, sir. Oo, oo. At saka ano, sir, I, 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 do, I, do, I do really heavily agree on that. Um, with Rebus regard naman, with, with, rega with regard naman to the Senate, sir, uh, is, the pre is the President or is Malacanang okay with, with the, the seeming uh, move of the Senate to, to at least to file a clarify case. the question on, on the concurrence of treaties and on the concurrence the Court. of abrogations of treaties? First, ang position ng executive dyan, hindi nakikialam kung anong gagawin ng kongreso. Correct. Mm -hmm. Kung meron silang doubt as to a constitutional question, yes. then it's the right and perhaps even duty to go to the Supreme Court, which is the arbiter of questions arising out of doubtful interpretations of the law. Mm -hmm. so, dapat, para maging klaro kasi ang position namin dyan. we don't need concurrence of the Senate mm -mm. in abrogating treaties, treaties yes. or not or executive agreements, rather. 
Okay. Mm. Secretary, pwedeng tanungin ko lang syempre, of course, executive agreement yung VFA, di umano, no? but sa Supreme Court ruling, eh, it was considered a treaty. Regardless of that, sir, yung ICC din naman na with ni President, and that one is clearly a treaty, the Rome Statute. no. Ang tanong ko lang, sir, of course, checks and balance ang separation of powers natin. Legislative makes the law, although foreign policy is for the President, but the treaty has the force and effect of a law. So shouldn't the Senate have a role as well in abrogating a treaty which has the force and effect of a law. Supreme Court na mag-decide niyan. Kasi e tinatanong na, ano, ko lang perspective ni Secretary. Minsan mm-hmm. lang natin matanong eh. Hindi ba, Sec? Hindi. Kasi, hindi. We, we don't subscribe to that simply because mm-hmm. the Constitution does not expressly mm-hmm. say that. The yeah. silence. What the Constitution says mm-hmm. is it needs concurrence for the ratification mm-hmm. and not for the abrogation. Mm-hmm. Sir, di ba magkaiba naman ang shared powers sa uh, sa checks and balance because basically if it's a shared legislative power di ba dapat ang, ang, uh, ang House of Rep and ang Senate should concur pero if it's a checks and balance that's the reason why the Senate needs to concur because it's a check on the foreign policy powers of the President tama po ba sir? or, or is that also uh, part of the of the question or the, the issue? Ay, wala namang problema doon sa checks and balances eh. kaya mm-hmm. is, eh, you have concurrence pagpasok mo sa treaty correct but meron din namang, yun, yun din ang balance doon na I can abrogate it also. Mm, yes. Sa pag, pa, pananaw ng presidente. Yeah, okay. Isa pang tanong, Sek, what if, what if lang naman, the Supreme Court decides that the executive or president cannot unilaterally abrogate? Kasi parang kay Grace Poe, silent din naman yung constitution, sir, sa foundlings, but of course, may space for interpretation na dapat it should extend to that. So bakit pa sabihin ng Supreme Court, baka sabihin po nila, ah, o, oh, sige, kasama din ang abrogation sa concurrence it, or sa requirement ng concurrence. <laughs> ano pong uh, reaction, magiging reaction ng Malacanang Honda? Ay, isa lang naman ang reaction ng Malacanang. Sundin. What the Supreme Court says, <laughs> mm, <follow>. Correct. <laughs> Abogado Ayon. din naman si Secretary Panelo. Abogado si President Duterte. Walang ibang sagot. Diba? So, antayin na lang natin ang Sal- arguments <laughs> sa <laughs> Supreme Court. Correct. Salamat, sir. Salamat po. Thank you for your Thank time. Thank you sa inyong dalawa. Salamat. Salamat. Okay, that was uh, Presidential Spokesperson Salvador Panelo. Salamat. 